What's up party people? It's your boy Louis back. Today we're going to taxidermize a pigeon. It's been a long time. It really was a long time since I've done it. But some of you wrote in the comments that I should taxidermize something easier to get by. So I shot this little pigeon over here. It's a young one. Yeah. We're going to do a good old taxidermy once again. It's been a long time. It truly was. I wanted to live stream that one. But sadly, I'm not allowed to, or I can't. Yeah. So guys, you need to subscribe. Not not a lot. Not a lot of you have been subscribed. Subscribing to to subs. So let's just skin the pigeon first. Yeah, I need a better knife. Actually, you know what? I'm a funky boy now. Now it's it's it isn't working. Whoa whoa whoa! Fuck. And here we go. A little bit more stouch. So, first lick done. Pretty difficult part over here. And go in here. And go in here. Just like that. And just. Cut the joint away. There we go. So, cut that away. Don't cut. You know, guys, it's always like that. You do more with the hands than cutting. Because if you cut, it actually takes a lot of time, actually. It also, you know, if you do it by hand, it lowers the chance that you can. Oh, fuck. Rip stuff. That wasn't a rip. Didn't rip it. Didn't whip the screen. Okay. So the wing is cleared. So actually, over here is the thing where I hit it. Over the hat, my cat wants to. I need to come. I need to. So, Flav, your kin put first one done. Hello, say hello to the cat. He is helping me taxidermy. <laughs> he is helping me taxidermy. My Flav. <clears throat> Do you see it? How he he, he you don't see it. Let's have a little puff can. Big. I know you want it, but you don't get it. You ain't get it, mate. He likes that a lot. He likes that a lot. So I'll cut away the, the joint. You don't see it right. I'm not too sure. And plop that away. I haven't seen it. Alright. Skinning done. So, after that, I need to clear all of the fat that is remaining on the skin. Uh, just by doing like that. Cutting that away. Like a pro. But it's fucking boring. So, conservating. It's mostly completely fleshed out, no flesh, some bits and pieces, but it should be alright. Now we're going to conservate that one. Um, first of all, I'm probably going to wash it. <coughs> alright, we have made another little hole. Yeah. So what I'm going to use is not a cat, but... I'm going to use a. I'm going to use oil on to um, poison the skin, and afterwards, actually, a little bit of vinegar as well. So, Flat, you need to go away. Flat, Flat, come, come, Flat. 
little bit more, little bit vinegar, little bit more. Now let's use a little bit of white lamb, poison the skin, and just a little bit. That was a little bit too much, but now we need to put that one here carefully. Here, so everything is submerged, and now we're going to leave it in there, right flat. <clears throat> See you in 30 minutes. Half an hour has passed and we are ready. <clears throat> right, so hot. But love one. Sometimes if it's really bloody, you're not really able to to wash the blood away so you kind of need to be careful with that if your bird gets really bloody kind of need to wash it uh, at first not if, not right now and we should be good to go now we need to stitch all of those holes yeah flat. now we do, you don't go outside my friend it's cold outside it is cold outside flat. Yes. So stitching is once again a weird thing to do. Well, not a weird thing, but a boring thing to do. So I think I'm going to just cut that away. Most holes are fixed. I said most. I know. Didn't do anything. Um, First of all, I'm going to put wire in there, through here. Put that as flush <clears throat> back in there as possible. That is pretty flush. We'll keep it like that. And now with the hot glue gun, I'm going to fill that up. Now I need to keep it stable like that for a bit. Now we need to wire everything. The glue has been, has dried. Yes. Get a wire. And put that in there. Put it through here. All right. Uh, that's the first one. Then you need to fix it. Uh, fixate it, fix, fix. Fix it to the bone, makes it a lot more easier, a lot easier, a lot more easier, a lot easier. I don't know, me no English, no good, mate. Put that over here to rebuild, rebuild the, the muscle. That's pretty much it. Oh fuck, yeah, this is a pretty strong one. So that's the inside over here, that's the wing. You put that in there. Put, pull the skin back. And here you can see the wire. Over there is a joint. You need to kind of flims around there to get inside the most furthest one, furthest. I don't know, and just press it in, like so, all the way back there. Actually, let's go over there. And over here, above this joint, later I will cut this one away. And that's pretty much it. Now, everything is done. And now I'm going to set in the eyes just like that got the eyes over there press them in just like so all right just a little bit there we go okay 
And now I need to plug it together. So now we're going to knit that together. Yeah, guys, it's the next morning. It was a weird cut, wasn't it? In the first second, I was just, you know, still knitting it together. Now it's finished. I wasn't really feeling it. Um, I thought that it wouldn't turn out all right. I mean, it's a start, right? You have a taxidermy video, at least. And yeah. <laughs> I will do another one. I have enough pigeons to make another one. Uh, if you like this video, even though it's a little bit weird and, you know, kind of, but you've seen the first part. I think in the next mount, I'll just, you know, start from the knitting process and I'll leave everything else. But yeah, next pigeon is going to be a little bit easier I think because that one is still a young one. Uh, so if you like this video please like it and yeah we'll see us will we, I see you I well you see me in the near future hopefully so goodbye